Has this ever happened to you? One day you're just playing modded Minecraft, all of a sudden your game freezes and you end up crashing. Then this video is for you. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to recover your Minecraft world that's been corrupted after a crash or whatever. So just a disclaimer, this will not work for everybody and it will not possibly work for your version of Minecraft because, you know, every version of Minecraft is different and things just decide never to work. So, anywho, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Hopefully this does, you know, help you out today in recovering your world that you put so many hours into. So, first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on the image, not the play button, the image of your mod pack. Go ahead and click the three dots. Go down to open folder here. Once that opens up, what you want to do is go to saves, grab whatever corrupted, wherever world is corrupted, go ahead and just copy it. I'm not going to do that because you know, I already did a bunch of this stuff. But you want to go ahead and copy it, paste it anywhere on your desktop or Minecraft backups or Minecraft RLCraft, whatever area you can you know easily get access to it and then the very next thing is you want to go ahead um, open this go ahead and just delete your profile just delete everything including the backups delete it then you want to go ahead re-download it you know press play all right guys so after you relaunch the modded um, version of the game and you see everything's working there's no crash or anything like that what you want to do is, of course, go ahead and just quickly exit. And now you want to go ahead and open this up. Again, open the folder if you haven't, if you closed it. And what you want to do is go ahead, get your save, put it back into the save file here, and then relaunch everything again. All right, guys, so after you relaunch the game again, go ahead and click the single player. What you see your save file is here. Go ahead and click on it. All right, so what you want to do is scroll down to recreate. Go ahead and let the game recreate your world. And I suggest go ahead and name it to something else like Arrowcraft and then new or let's just say recover. All right, so just go ahead and create a new world. Alright, now this next step is very, very important, guys. So, go ahead and wait until it depends on how your game loads. If this comes up or whatever loading thing comes up, go ahead and rapidly click the X because you want to make sure it exits before it finishes making the world. All right, good, so once you do that, go ahead and click on it again, open up your folder, all right, go to your saves, you see it's there, go ahead and open up your new world that you created. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and go back to where you saved your corrupted world. You wanna go ahead and open it up. All right, so this is the most important part, and we're gonna go ahead and start off with this. So what you wanna do is go ahead and get copy data, go to the new world, delete its data, paste this in. All right, next up, you wanna go ahead and go to player data, copy that, this. Delete player data with the new world. Paste it in. Right. Next up, this is the most important file that you have to copy over. The region or region, whatever. Go ahead and copy this. Go to the new world. Delete the old one. Paste in the new one. Right. Next, you want to do is stats. 
Now just a dis disclaimer, I don't know if you need every single one of these files. I know the most important is this one and level that. But I did, like I did all of these the first time, so that's why I'm putting them in here. So you, you know, be thorough and get everything. Hopefully, get everything saved, like work, save that's working. Anyways, last one you want to get here is level that old, not this one. Where you get the level that old, go ahead, copy it, open this, delete this one. Go ahead and paste it in there. And now you want to go ahead and actually rename this. Click back here, delete the old part. Click on yes. There you go. All right. So obviously, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and launch the game again. All right. So once you're back in for the final time, go ahead and click on single player. And you should see your world, the new world you made, whatever you named it, is blanked out. So that's good. So that means it didn't fully render or load anything in. So now when you click on it and hit play, it should start loading in. And hopefully this works for you. Hopefully this fixes your world and brings it back from the corrupted brink. And there you go. As you can see, it's starting to load in. All right. So one way to know immediately if it doesn't work, that screen with the dirt, if you sit there for a good, say, two to three minutes, possibly even five, and if it doesn't load in, that means it didn't work for you, sadly. But let's go ahead, let it finish loading. And here we are, as you can clearly see, my corrupted world is fully back, or at least the point where, you know, before I got corrupted. Now, of course, this will vary, you know, depending on when the last, I guess, older world save was. But as you can see, world is back, no longer corrupted. I can actually move around and continue playing. So yeah, guys, I hope this uh, helped you out. If it did, go ahead, leave a like, comment down below. If it if this didn't help you, I'm sorry. This won't again disclaimer. This won't work for every single version of Minecraft, and it won't work for every single modded mod pack out there. So, but hopefully this works for you guys. Hopefully some of you out there if not most of you out there work so you can continue playing your world without you know well having to start all over from the beginning because the reason why I'm doing this video is because this happened to be a couple of days ago where you know I, well, I was down there and all of a sudden my world was freaking out then it just crashed and got corrupted I couldn't log back into here or anything I actually watched another youtuber's video on how to recover you know corrupted worlds but I had to do a couple extra steps that I figured out because um, he, they were doing vanilla and this is obviously modded minecraft this is Arrowcraft, obviously so yeah, I had to do those extra couple of steps that I figured out on my own because I was troubleshooting a lot <laughs> funny part is I didn't know how to do any of that stuff really I just went in and I just started copying over files and everything and I figured those are the best file combinations to recover my Arrowcraft reimagined world so yeah that's pretty much it guys again hope this helped if it did leave a comment down below leave a like subscribe all that jazz if it didn't I'm sorry couldn't help you hopefully you find another video for your specific mod pack that could possibly help out in recovering your corrupted world but yeah um, just another note I might be doing a uh, another video 
on Minecraft. I might be doing uh, well, RO Craft reimagined, but uh, for, falling falling from the sky again. I don't know why, why. I don't know what mod causes the pigs to just fall from the sky. It's so weird. <laughs> it's been doing that since I started. But uh, yeah, I might be doing two different Minecraft videos depending on if I can get the five craft mod to work for this version it works for the other versions I've tested but for some reason <laughs> all right guys so my entire Steam Deck just crashed but that's just because Windows is so you know just kind of all messy especially on Steam Deck cuz yeah anyways that's gonna do it for today's video hope you all enjoy <laughs> Hope this helped you all out. If it did, again, yeah, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. And it's always me to take a step back and enjoy life, guys. See y'all on the next one. All right, peace.